Okay, now we're coming to the probably most important part uh, of this miniature and uh, usually the most important part of any miniature. The mask the or face. the face. The face, yes. So he, uh, in this case here, he's uh, wearing a, a face mask, mm -hmm. um, supposedly metal. And I think to, to keep it in tune with the rest of the armor, we will paint the mask itself also gold. Um, maybe that halo in a combination of uh, non-metal silver and gold, so it's not all gold. Mm -hmm. uh, just to add a tiny bit more interest there. Um, but yeah, let's let's start with um, the mask itself. Uh, again, we will start to um, base coat it with a medium um, yellow tone mm -hmm. from Scruffles Brown. Uh, tank brown and a little bit of black. So we will start with um, our main highlight and we'll just um, paint, paint a circle of uh, light quite directly on that uh, base color. And I, I said this in many other videos, this is always the step that kind of blows my mind because uh, I mean now I know that it works. but. I remember having learned how to achieve um, highlights with um, glazes and glazes and glazes or thin layers and uh, always going a little little brighter and a little brighter and a little brighter and after 40 glazes you had something similar to a highlight <laughs> and you were like blop there's the highlight <laughs> yeah it's, it looks quite brutal in the end but uh... Well, it looks brutal in the beginning <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true but then they say don't they say ending be, uh, begets beginnings or something in the campaign. <laughs> so uh, now we will just uh, use a medium tone and just stick all over the sides. Yeah. To blend it together. Maybe say something about that stippling because um, I usually do, but now you can. <laughs> um. Well, I, but the the nice thing about stippling uh, the brush and not really trying to do a a real blending is that um, the pigments you leave on the miniature are not that directional. Yeah. They, they kind of create a small texture blending, but when you're working with thin colors, uh, the result is quite quite interesting and very fine. Yeah. And you can, I mean, look look at that. That is just the first quick result after maybe thirty seconds. Um, highlight a little bit of stippling and um, that's already pretty smooth and of course you can work on this for as long as you want to kind of get the results you want okay, I just pulled it down a bit because uh, I want it to be uh, the same color over there.
and on this side here of the nose um, this side should be quite a bit brighter but like on the shoes we have one side that is really bright mm -hmm. the inside is darker And again, this goes back to maximizing contrast on really small areas. So you have the, the highest highlight on the crest of the nose, and that basically is, is right next to the darkest paint later on. Yeah. So I guess you're going to use some, uh, not squash brown, which one was it? Tank brown? Tank brown. <laughs> Tank brown. With a little bit of black. Yeah, on the other side. That one was easy to reach because of the shoulder pad. Yeah, it's one of the disadvantages is uh, filming when you're trying to show everything. Now oh, it's got a little bit of a crooked nose. Pretty rough, dude. <laughs> okay, so it's white again. If you can just turn it a little bit just to, to demonstrate this strong contrast there. It's almost black and you're probably going to go over it again. Yeah, but just here to the side. The nostril. Yeah, that the mask actually does not really have nostrils. It's more like a triangle. But it's putting a light here to the side. Um, to really get that uh, that shape of the mask, we also need to put a highlight here on the upper edge here of the forehead, uh, where the eyebrows would be. Mm -hmm. To get a nice little um, shadow here, like a core shadow in the middle from the forehead, we will also bring up this side here. Yeah, really emphasize that shape on that, on that area. Yeah, most skulls in this case also the helmet has uh, on, the, on the temple I think it's called on the on the yeah, I think it's the temple isn't it um, has some, has some very distinct lines and especially for a um, non-metallic uh, you want to definitely emphasize those with a lot of contrast That again is the line that I just mentioned on the, on the temple. Because this is the side where the light comes from. You definitely want to give that a good highlight. Yeah. Here the uh, 
the highlight turned out a bit too uh, too white, I would say, from the uh, from the loaded brush. So we'll place over with the this tone again. Mm -hmm. Just brings it back a little bit. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And to maximize the contrast, I will also some tank brown here to the top of the the temple line. And note the direction of the brush goes towards that line without crossing it. And this way then pushes the pigments exactly to the edge of this line where he then will have the maximum contrast. A lot of our supporters um, watch our videos not just once but oftentimes at least twice, uh, especially if it's like one of our uh, Buddha boxes where we have the miniature uh, with a video. Um, just watch it once to see what's going on and then really second time around um, trying to follow along. And uh, it's actually quite uh, amazing to see the results a lot of people even get on first try. Uh, we've had miniatures where we actually had to check whether it's our picture or our own miniature um, or actually a result of one of our supporters and uh, the results are quite stunning actually. Yeah. The thing is, there's no big secret. Now, of course, Ben has uh, 12 years of experience, and um, when he does the loaded brush, 99 out of 100 times he gets it right. Well, maybe 49 out of 50 times, not sure. <laughs> and uh, if you try it for, your, for yourself, maybe the first couple of times you get one out of two right, and then it's gonna be one out of four, one out of 10. Uh, sorry, nine out of 10, <laughs> not one out of 10. <laughs> it's gonna get worse. But, um, I can guarantee you that all of you can do this. Uh, like if you wanted to follow just the helmet and just try it, I'm pretty sure that you can all get a similar result. Yeah. The nice thing about the, the loaded brush is um, in the beginning it's frustrating for the like for two miniatures or, or something like that. But you need maybe 10, 10 or 20 hours to really get used to it and get the first good results. Yeah. But after that it's really an amazing technique because it's so fast and uh, you can get really nice transitions in no time. Yeah. And even if um, showcase is not your goal in painting, like what Ben is currently doing is really a pretty, pretty high level. I mean, that's definitely a miniature that you could enter in a competition already. Um, but even if that's not your goal, if your goal is army painting, the loaded brush technique can actually help you achieve really blending blendings in no time. The shield, for example, like a I mean, you could pr probably get the main blending, the core blending of just the shield down in a few seconds. Yeah. So how do you like the new uh, the new st uh, statue in front of uh, Games Workshop, Ben? <laughs> I was quite amazed that they actually changed the good old Space Marine. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's nice to see uh, that changes are happening. Yeah. Actually, even that they took down the Akala is, uh, is quite, a, quite a thing. Yeah. And uh, considering that 40k is still um, th their main business, I think, as far as sales are concerned, uh, I, re I really like it. It's, I think it's, um, th there must be some feeling of change going through Game Searchup right now. And I think it's, uh, it's, uh, it's nice to see. Yeah, it's definitely showing some commitment to the, to the whole project. Yeah. And I had the pleasure while Ben was uh, painting off cam to... Uh, Actually, look at some of the rules. Watch a couple of battle raps. Uh, actually, read up some of, some of my own, of the own rules. Like for example, I can finally feel my Bretons again, which is nice. <laughs> it's like you couldn't feel them for like fifteen years, and uh, the rules are pretty pretty straightforward. And some of them are kind of funny. Uh, like if you roll a dice and you at the same time you're talking to your imaginary horse, uh, you can re-roll uh, on the wounding table. Um, or actually when you um, throws. Um, another one was if you're dancing while you're rolling and so on. Yeah, it might be a little silly to some. Uh, I actually kind of like this kind of stuff. Um, I actually did this even without those rules. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then again, I'm not a hardcore gamer, so that's right. Um, as I said, I want also some uh, normal silver on that helmet. Mm -hmm. At the moment, I really like that broad reflex 
that it, it really so that has a nice uh, nice feel to it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I want that inner edge of the um of the halo to be non metal silver. I will mix a um, blue gray tone from black and some watercolor turquoise. <coughs> And again, this is um, it's all about contrast. That is going to be a contrast of material. You got the gold and then the silver, um, which always draws attention if there's any sort of contrast. And of course, we want that contrast. Uh, sorry, we want that focus on the head. So that's a good way of uh, increasing contrast in a different way, other than just light and shadow. Sadly, I just hit the the white here with the silver turquoise. basically the same approach as with the gold. I'm putting down a pretty strong highlight, kind of blending it a little bit to the sides and then using glazes to make it even smoother. You can actually see that little touch of blue that's in there uh, being the contrast to the yellow um, is adding a lot of contrast actually. Yeah, although it's that small, it's quite a quite strong impact. Yeah. Okay, and a little bit of pink down black uh, around, around these rivets here. Try to get the upper edge in a nice contrasting gold, the outer metallic green. And then the spike's gonna be um, silver again, or? Yeah. Nice. A lot of color contrast going on in a small area. Always good for focus on the miniature. Okay, so white. Yeah, the position of that uh, highlight should be clear. It's at the same kind of area where the yeah, highlight so on the helmet is. So some angle, that's the word I was looking for. That's the word you're looking for. Ah, that area just, just draws so much attention now. Nice contrast in the metal and then the silver and gold. Okay. Uh, yeah, I like, really like the strong highlight on the top, mm -hmm. it really catch a lot of attention. Um, before I paint the, um, the spikes on the halo, I have to make sure that I have a clean edge here, so I'm just using a thin black to line that towards the gold. That's actually one of the tips we give a lot to people that want to kind of step up their game from tabletop to uh, 
showcase manager is just basically clean paint style, um, clean separation of lines, these kind of things. That alone just pushes the miniature like by two points <laughs> if you if you look at it. Simple and effective. So you see, uh, even on small surfaces like that, a lot of brush can, can really do you a favor. Mm -hmm. Let's just put some tank down here on the lower side. I really like it. It's really, really cool. All right. Okay. So that's it for uh, for the helmet. The back sides. Uh, we'll just finish that off camera. Yeah. It's, I think we've we've seen now. Yeah. We've seen enough enough gold. I think. <laughs> yeah. And um, then the next parts would be the blue parts. Mm -hmm. uh, then of course there's all kinds of little extra stuff that we still need to do. Um, but are you going to do the shoulder pad next or? Yeah, sh the shoulder pad. Um, like all, the, all the blue parts basically? Yeah. yeah. Uh, when are you going to do the shield? Are you going to do the shield last? Yeah, let's do the shield last because mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a different topic, but it's very nice and interesting because it's uh, quite huge and uh, it's good to show you uh, advantages of uh, both the loaded brush and when wet blending. Mm -hmm. Awesome. But that shall happen in the next chapter. All right. All right, thanks.